Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Union Bank Global Linker SME Learning Series. You know, we've tackled many topics in the past, including how to go digital to future-proof your business, maximizing lead generation in the di digital world, as well as how to protect your business and your customers. And then last Friday, we also talked about how you can export your products to other countries. Now, if you miss those episodes, go and watch them in the OLEARN page. I'm sure you're going to learn a lot from those um, learning sessions. I'm Jerry Ilaw, the co-founder of OLEARN, your e-learning platform for SMEs, and also Tarki, the automation tool for field employees. And this afternoon, we will talk about how you can outsource some aspects of your business. Now, in this time of quarantine, we've been talking about the new normal. So it means a lot of changes could be happening in your business. Changes in probably how you market your products, your focus products and services, and perhaps your target market, and even as far as your operations. So the question is, should you do it yourself or outsource a certain portion of your operation. So this is what we're going to talk about this afternoon. So please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box. Yon, for those who are coming in, please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box. Now let me introduce my co-host and also the chairman of AFI and the founder of Retail Academy, Mr. Eric Kaeg. Hi, Sir Eric. Hi, Sir Jerry. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all of our uh, net viewers. Yes, and also we have here the Vice President of Union Bank SME Platforms Head, Mr. JP Suleiman. Hi, JP. Hello, magkakasama na naman kami tatlo. Hi, guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kumusta kayo, Sir Eric and JP? Hi, JP. Kumusta? Okay naman, Sir Jerry. Uh, working from home pa rin. Yeah, oh, good, good, good. Uh, so many things pa rin happening, extension ng lockdown. Uh, I guess, I guess malahat tayo, kating-kati na mag-mall. <laughs> Pero antay-antay lang ng konti. <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, I mean, siyempre, kasama tayo sa iba-ibang Viber groups. Tapos yung iba, naglilista na ng mga bibilhin nila as soon as mapayagan na mabas. <laughs> so, of all those lists, so marami nagko-comment, like, freezer daw, bibili ng freezer, or kaya bibili ng, uh, anong tawag mo dito, electric na pang uh, haircut. So, isa sa mga comments doon, sabi. So, I guess, ano, uh, the economy will be back in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, nako. Totoo naman, totoo naman. Razor, ano? Yeah, Razor. Yun. Ayan, so for those who just came in, please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box and also share this broadcast so that more people will be able to watch it. Ano pa pag-uusapan natin this afternoon, Sir Eric and uh, JP? Yeah, so this afternoon, kasi diba, tama na yung mga theories, theories, at mm -hmm. yung mga nagsasabi sa atin, ano ba dapat talaga yung changes na gawin. This time, we'll, we'll, uh, we have two speakers, uh, both experts in different kinds of servicing for SMEs, and they're going to share with us better, uh, kumbaga, a, a clearer view na pagkatapos ng lahat, pag ready na ulit mag-operate ang negosyo ko, Siyempre lahat tayo iniisip, paano ba ako makakatipid ngayon, di ba? Hindi naman ako kumita na tatlong buwan. Yeah. Paano ngayon yung mga process changes na kailangan ko implement, kaya ko ba to? So, yeah. we are going to divide between yourself through technology automation and something that baka maisipan nyo, i-outsource ko na lang kaya. 
baka naman meron dyan someone who can do it better than me, cheaper than me, diba? It's something that they might be able to think of. So it's more of really, ngayon we're gonna try to set the stage up na pagbalik nating lahat, kasi malapit na yan sigurado ko, makakabalik tayong lahat. Paano natin mapapaganda yung operations ng kumpanya natin? So more on things in that, in that aspect. Yeah, you know, tama yun, uh, JP, no? Kasi maraming mga pagbabago na kailangan gawin sa business. And binsan, wala sa iyo yung expertise na yun. Diba? So rather than uh, try to do it yourself and trial and error, etc., maybe some of your some of the aspects of your business can be outsourced to, to experts. Yeah. Para mas yes. madali and in a way, mas mura because may economies of scale. Exactly. Yes, may natutunan uh, nga ako niyan ganyan eh. Yes, Sir Eric. Okay, go ahead. Sir Jamie, go. Uh, natutunan ko yan the hard way. Diba? Uh, dati, pinipilit ko na yung grupo ko, hindi, tayo lang. Kaya natin gawin yung mga search engine optimization na yan. Kaya natin gawin yung mga Facebook ad na yan. Hindi pala. So even a, even a company as big as us, we sometimes need help, diba? Yeah. So, yeah. So those are things that we outsource. Yeah. So Eric, actually for this time of uh, quarantine, ano, uh, yung iba na push nga sa digital, but most of them probably have concerns on, you know, learning it quickly versus the ones who have, you know, uh, advanced their their movement towards digital a couple of years back like Sir Jerry. So yung iba, baka itong share ng resource speaker natin mas mapabilis yung kanilang transformation yeah agree okay so i'm sure excited na yung mga nanonood sa mga nanonood please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box and also uh, share did this broadcast to your friends so hello kina christian Bungalon, si Romel at Tutuba is here, si Lance uh, Cabitenyo, nandito din. Maraming salamat. Marites, uh, Minda Carpio is here, si Marivec Jurado from Cagayan naman, and then si Eric Kalugdan from Mandaluyong, and also si Ake Angeles Cortes. So, yan, uh, maraming salamat sa inyo for watching. Now, let me introduce our guests this afternoon. So, um, the first one is the founder and CEO of My Boss. You know, My Boss is a back office shared services that provides bookkeeping, accounting, payroll, administrative services for SMEs integrated with technology solutions in partnership with Servio Technologies and Monster Lab. So please help us welcome the founder and CEO of My Boss, Ms. Judy Lorenzo. Hi, Judy. Judy, mukhang naka, baka naka, ano ka? Um, naka Sorry. Mute. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Yes. Yan. Hi, okay. Judy. Yes. Um, and also, we have the, uh, the CEO of Taxumo. You know, Taxumo is a web application that makes tax compliance easy and fast, specially designed for freelancers, professionals, and micro and small business owners. So please... Help us welcome Mr. AJ, EJ Arboleda. Hi, everyone. Hello. Good afternoon. Jerry, Eric, and JP, thanks so much for thinking of Taksumo no, and having us here. Siyempre, siyempre. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, siguro we can, ano, uh, uh, we can, before we go to your presentation, siguro a short background about uh, how, you are, how your business is doing now, uh, Judy and EJ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, um, for us, uh, since medyo naka standby din ng ating SME, so we're waiting no, for their, uh, ano din, yung mga kanilang reports, documents, so, but we're still ano, in touch with our fellow SMEs then how they can, uh, you know, how we can help them also during this uh, ECQ period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, for, for us naman in Taksumo, actually, it's very interesting times now. March was actually our highest ever number of times wow. um, since ECQ was announced. No? So, parang, hindi ko alam kung matutuwa ako malulungkot dito sa nangyayari. Pero, <laughs> but having said that, you know, 
um, I think we are, you know, uh, we are hearing from our customers and the scenario is really very different. Um, so we're looking for ways to adjust. So, you know, um, it, it's growing, but hindi siya business as usual. We have mm -hmm. to find ways of making it work for our customers. Talaga. Okay. Yeah. So that's interesting. <laughs> At least, uh, yeah, for, for you, EJ, um, I'm sure yung maraming mga naghahanap ng ganyang services ngayon dahil nga ayaw nila mag-file uh, on uh, ano yan, physically <laughs> ng kanilang mga <laughs> requirements. Oh, yeah. video. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Sige, so um, if you're okay na, uh, Sir Eric, Sir JP, um, may questions pa kayo before we move on to the presentation of Miss Judy? Oh, we can go. We can go ahead and start. Okay, sige. So we'll give the floor uh, to you, Miss Judy, for your presentation. Okay, share my screen. Mm -hmm. So ano yung okay. pag-uusapan? Ano yung i-share mo sa kanila, Judy? Well, well, uh, we're having the pres uh, getting ready with the presentation. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Um, first, I want to uh, share what is back office, no, and why would they need it, no? So mm -hmm. maybe assessing if yeah, they they already need to outsource or if they can say, kaya pa naman nila, kaya pa naman nila gawin on their own. Okay. okay. Sige. Yeah? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sige. Take it okay. away. Yep. So, yeah, we start with what's happening by in a day in the life of an entrepreneur. So, well, a lot of us uh, aspire to be, you know, be our own boss. But uh, do we really know, you know, what are the kumbaga, deep um, consequences or responsibilities no, of, of being an entrepreneur? No? So, aside from being, your, being the general manager, of course, you have to be, you know, do the marketing. And if actually, if you're a startup, you even do the being the receptionist or even, you know, doing your um, back office needs and training your people. So even to the point that you are the main collector, messenger, whatever, seen everything from the high to lowest um, position of the company, you will experience that. So, Shepra, when you're starting, uh, mostly you do these things. So, of course, you will understand how to run the business. Okay. And, yeah, um, based on some uh, survey results that uh, we got from the business pulse way back 2016, so, sabi nga nila, most business owners, they spend most of their time in the business. So, what does it mean? So, usually, ito yung mga day-to-day, -day, no? running of the business um, instead of mostly uh, you should do the, you know, planning big goals and thinking about the future. But of course, when you're starting, you have to be on the ground. So, syempre, pag nag-start naman, wala pa naman yun masyado talagang critical. So, at the beginning, no, almost of the time you'll be spending, no, doing the day-to-day um, from the encoding, from getting your market, so everything talaga, ikaw yung um, gumagawa. But, um, nga, eventually, um, since masya tayo yung naiimmune dun sa being on ground, no, nawawala na tayo dun sa bigger picture. No? And then, that's why majority of us works so much time, no, we give too much time to, to to the business so um instead of um you know being in the market so naiipit tayo dun sa loob ng office natin rather than going out so that's why yun nga nakakaroon tayo ng inefficient time management for that and mostly lumalabas sa surveys that yun nga we are consumed by this answering the emails administrative tasks Okay, there. And um, how we can improve it, no? So we have to evaluate talaga, wait, um, as the business owner, no? What is my um, main role ba talaga to, to run the business? So we have to truly understand, no? Yung mga 
hiwalay natin no yung mga eto yung mga urgent tasks eto naman yung yeah it can be done in the next day and everything so yun so and we have to learn how to delegate this tasks no so we have to actually at least get people no um to be with us so to do this um office um activities so we kasi as the entrepreneurs no we have these ideas we have these plans and we need people to actually do the results for us no Umaga, they will ex execute the um things for us so we can do more and you know as a business owner we always have to i know eh, like tayo dapat maging advanced so improving ourselves improving the skill set no? that's one of the things that we have to do and um one of the things actually na i've learned and i've learned from one of my mentors that if there's a if you have a business that it, it could run without you then it's a good business so it should be and if the business hindi siya mag run pag wala ka doon then uh there's something wrong no you ha you have to be um the one growing the business eh. but it doesn't mean naman na kailangan like ka lang nakaupo doon sa desk mo so you're not really getting the bigger picture so once we have done these things no then the entrepreneur the business owner can focus on should be focusing on being on the market no doing strategic planning so very future oriented yung mga tasks na ginagawa and then of course the improving of your product and service development and uh, getting strategic partnership so you can only do that if yun nga nakakalabas ka you're being on ground with the market no so the benefits of this, well, you know, creating new opportunities, grow revenue, you know, the growth of your revenue. And then, of course, uh, that's why naman we're doing this is late, later on. You want to have that work-life balance. So, hindi naman yun nga. Totally, we, we become entrepreneur because we're going to work 24-7 days of our life. No? So, we have to do something smart. No? We have to do smart strategies. Okay. And of course, yun, part of that is our personal growth. So, yeah. So, how can you really do that? No? Um, well, at first, you're um, a one-man team. But you also have to really assess. No? You have to get a team so you can grow. No? So, you have top two options for that. Naman. So, you can get full-time people or if you can outsource mo na because you're testing the waters pa. No? So, ano ba advantage of getting uh, your own? No? So, pag manpower, yeah, it's your full control, the people, but uh, the recruitment will take time. Kasi syempre, you have to um, check your backgrounds, diba? Even kahit sabi natin, social media is a good platform to have a lot of um applicants you have to check that one by one so i i know you're very um familiar with that no talagang it will take your time so that's the a little uh, disadvantage lang when you will get your own no instead of you know you have to outsource so at least there's an expert an HR expert bibigay na lang siya sa iyo ng mga candidates and you can just scan it review it then at least medyo um, na, nabawasan yung time na ikaw pa talaga yung maghahanap, sasagot dun sa mga applicants, and then, yeah, it, 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 it consumes our time also, no? Kasi, we, if we want to get good people, we have to really check them. So, of course, uh, the cost of that manpower, um, if it's full-time with you, so, you have to also consider the mandatory benefits, so you cannot ignore naman our government uh, compliance no so kasama sila doon um nya lang pag outsource naman at least um yun ang responsible naman na doon is the agencies for that so um and then 
at least you pag full time you have to get them a space you have to get them equipments no tools for them so it's it's another cost no but when you outsource um yeah at least um you can get a freelance or from HR agencies so mas ano sila um equipped na naman sila and you just have to pay for their skills and talents no then the accomplishments that they do and then for the performance um well full time syempre yun the full um evaluation you have to oversee that because it's under your responsibility but at least if yeah outsource no um medyo yung skill set nila um established na so little supervision na lang you just have to check on their accomplishments how they perform no and then um some improvements for example like now in the new normal they say that um we really have to adapt in the digital transformation so if we're going to do what to do it in house are our present people are they capable to explore or uh, make our own pa or to save time can we just outsource that so you know we can um assess these things ko ano ba yung mas magfi-fit talaga if we need the we can do it in house or baka naman mas mabilis tayo kung outsource muna natin no and everything so in, um in that way we can scale faster but well of course in the core business unit no kumbaga ito yung um talagang talents that you will need for um for products and services so that one uh well, it's better if it's on your own no yung pinaka core group nyo and of course and yeah, doing the business development it's all in the management it's all you um the business owner but uh maybe the you know admin works those things naman or mga project based or even small it support naman that one if we can outsource na lang para hindi it won't take too much of your time no so those these things that uh we want to assess um ano ba yung mas better no with us especially um kung budget uh tight yung budget natin no ano ba yung mas practical for us no and then yeah just to add uh more um mga how to assess your ano ba yeah, outsource ko ba hire ko na lang no so ang titingnan natin is in our core business this one it it give, what gives us profit so syempre ito yung mga tututukan nating tao yung ating sales people marketing team no of course the yung core group ng operations natin uh, and the business development so this ones give the profit and then to naman uh, medyo kumbaga you need this no hindi naman natin pwedeng ignore like for example syempre yung accounting part natin no? so this one um minsan na uh, most of startups um they don't really see the value pero later all oh, we get pag tax payments na and all kraming na tayo and all we need pala to organize our finance records and we also need the advice from experts no from the um accountants so that we don't mess up with our tax obligations or government compliance no? um well at least uh, hr if kumbaga um quarterly or seasonal lang naman din yung um getting of people depende sa turnover ng company niyo no so if if you think um bihira din naman um yung need for recruitment um then if you can just outsource that you can just uh, get them when needed no even the IT support so pag yung pag nagkakaroon lang naman ng mga um lapses in the technical no so they can just come in pag yan they need to fix something no? so these are the parts na yun yeah, um 
hindi naman siya yung core part ng business, but it's also important. Pero if you can, you know, it will be practical to just uh, outsource them. So that if in case nga na katulad ng ganitong um, situation natin, no, we can, ano muna, defer the engagement. So, ay, sige, ano mo. Um, kumbaga, we can just get them when we need them again. So, even actually ngayon, yung logistics, no? So, instead of, for example, for the food businesses, in best na hire agad sila ngayon ng mga tao naman, and syempre, of course, they have to train them, and then, or maybe they have to buy motorcycles pa or mga um, vehicles, no? For the deliveries. Why not just outsource na lang muna para mas mabilis nating ma-attend yung um, mga concerns, no? Para mabilis din tayo maka-deliver to our clients. And then, yun, um, you can just go back to how to assess na lang na if yun, you need an in-house talaga. But at least, uh, the outsourcing, it's a good option also to test the waters. Yan. And then, yeah. So, just to give you the definition of, yeah, so the back office outsourcing, no, mostly, what is outsourcing nga is the HR, you know, the encoders, mga accounting, and then some marketing executions, and some IT support. Okay. There. So, this one also could give you more, um, will give more, uh, kumbaga, how you can assess if you need to outsource ba or, yeah, you can stay muna for a DIY, do it yourself. No? So, for example, for the cost, no? So, ano ba, if, baka naman, if, instead of hiring three people, an outsource uh, service can just do it with one, um, ano lang nila, subscription with them, no? So, and then, of course, the availability. Um, Siyempre, pag full-time, mas controlled mo nga sila. Alam mo na they will always be there. If ma-outsource ba, malalaman, ma-assure mo ba na they will be, you know, when you call them, you can rely on them. So, they can, they meet your schedule as well. So, that one also. So, baka naman nga, nakagawa. Um, expert nga siya doon, but um, hindi naman napoprovide sa'yo agad yung services. So, ano ba? Do you shift again to getting your own people? No? And then, of course, yung trustworthiness, no? Um, the accuracy of the reports. Baka naman niya on time din mag, mag-send from the outsource agency, pero hindi naman pala tama. So, ano yung mas nakokontrol mo? Ano yung mas, um, is it Doon ba sa in-house na lang? Kasi mas transparent, mas madali mong makuha yung reports. No? And then, yeah, of course, yeah, everything here nga yun, yung nabibigay pa rin sa'yo. So ngayon, I think um, in our situation, it will be more in a flexible work type. Um, maybe a lot of us pa rin, no? Um, yung bang attachment natin in a workspace, no? In, in our office, and people gusto natin, especially our business owners, gusto natin, nakikita na trabaho ba talaga sila, nagagawa ba ito, but, but now we have to, yeah, consider it na well, uh, even in, we're not together, no, with our people or the service provider, no, um, how can we really assure na they can be trustworthy. No? So these are the things no? but that we have to consider as well. So yeah, the for us to really um, look at do I DIY, no? Kasi minsan meron din tayo mentality na, oh, kaya ko naman yan and everything, no? Ako na lang, no? Imbis nagagastos pa ako. But I think we should also um, try to reflect more na even if you can do it, is that you as the business owner or the entrepreneur or the captain of the ship, of the company, yun ba talaga yung dapat paglaanan mo ng time? Kumbaga, doing the encoding, doing the 
payroll of your people, you know, these um, administrative works. Um, is that really the tasks, the kakain ng time mo? Or you have to go out. You have to, you know, get on the ground, get on the market so that you can bring in more opportunities for your company. So that one, that that's another thing that you can uh, able to check. So yeah, for example, uh, ikaw pa ba yung pupunta nga sa mga government agencies just to file your taxes, diba? just to, pag may problema sa mga HR concerns, um, you know, you, you go to these government agencies, it will take you whole day instead of, you know, talking to strategic partners and closing deals. So that are the things that we're trying to see if do it. Do I do it myself? Yeah, kaya ko naman. Pero is it, can I grow the business by doing these things? Or, you know, you outsource it. And it, things can be done while at the back, while you're yeah, doing something for the future of your company. So that one, that's my uh, take on, yeah, that. Um, our recommendations if you will do DIY or at source, no? So, I don't think naman na, kumbaga, sa umpisa talaga, no? Hindi naman din agaw outsource kasi you have to understand your business. So, you, you have to know lang your, the framework of your work, the workflow, of your operations, how to do it, and then at least you can, if you can just outsource, diba? Or delegate the tasks. So you can do more as the business owner. So yeah, for for me, uh, yeah, to really drive your business now, especially now in the new normal, you know, you focus on your core business and you outsource the non-core related uh, tasks. Okay, that's one. Okay, so for that. That's my presentation. Yeah, thank you so oh. much, Judy. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, thank you, Judy. Yep. <laughs> Ako, uh, uh, I, I really like what you said about, um, kumbaga, you, you were mentioning about the best use of your time. Diba? As an entrepreneur, oh, oh, kaya mong gawin to, pero is that the best use of your time? Or should you be doing something else that can produce more revenue perhaps for your business? Kasi minsan nga as an entrepreneur, iniisip natin, oh, kaya ko to, we're Superman. Diba? <laughs> pero we all have just 24 hours a day. So ang tanong talaga is, is that the best use of your time? And kung if someone else can do it faster, better, um, and then you concentrate on growing the business, then diba? that, that's a big consideration na baka i-outsource mo na lang. Oo nga. Oo nga. Madami dyan, kaya ko to. Tapos alas 9 na ng gabi, hindi ka pa tapos yung ginagawa mo. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> Totoo yan. Ha? Madalas mangyari yan, JP. And that's why nga, even in the mental health, why it's happening so i think work-life balance we need that also we deserve that also as business yeah. owners no? yeah true 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 um okay yeah siguro ano um one question lang judy be, uh, before we probably uh, go to ej how, how do you address you, you mentioned kasi kanina di ba outsourcing manpower etc how do you address some concerns na yung parang yung loyalty ng mga tao kapag hindi internal, syempre, ah, ang loyalty nila nandun sa, nandun sa, kung, kung kanina sila employed. So, pag ganun ba, is that a big factor na hindi loyal yung mga tao sa iyo, sa, sa company? Well, uh, I think that's part of the engagement naman they are deployed with another company, they should uh, try to like feel na it's their, they're, they're part of that company also. Mm. And you have to provide yung evaluation metrics then. If talaga bang um, uh, 
this person can give value can to, mm-hmm. to your businesses then yun nga if hindi naman okay yung performance then at least yun mabilis magpalit no meron kang <laughs> arm to hindi okay to can you give ito yung mga kailangan ko mm-hmm. Okay, sige. So, for those of you who have questions, feel free na mag-post lang. We'll be entertaining questions later. Yan. But for now, let's bring back uh, the CEO of Ataksumo, Mr. EJ Arboleda. Hi, EJ. Hi, hi, hi Jerry. Hello. Yeah, hello. And, I, I, I can't go away. Don't worry. <laughs> ano yung uh, presentation mo? Uh, gusto mong i-share sa kanila, EJ? Yes, um, it's here right now. Yeah, so hopefully you guys can see my screen. Sige, Siguro so... just give me a note to you guys now, if, if okay. Mm-hmm. Sige, That's EJ, working. take it away. All right, thank you so much. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Um, so hi everyone. So um, it's it's great that it's a Monday afternoon and you're taking that time to you know um, craft your uh, to, to improve your craft. Kumbaga, no? um, it's very good that you're taking a step back and that you're learning and improving on uh, yourself because really at the end of the day the best investment you can make is this, you know, improving yourself because the success of your business is ultimately gonna depend on you. Um, so first of all, you know, kudos, congrats, everyone. You're like one step closer to success. Um, I think you know. Um, so so Judy uh, laid out a very good points about uh, DIY, outsource, and everything. No, I do think there's uh, one thing that um, I can add to that, which is you. I think you have to understand that a lot of the decisions you're making as a business owner will primarily involve a question about risk. Um, if you outsource, let's say, your uh, graphic design, no, your logo, the risk isn't that big, diba? The risk would be, for example, you know, okay, di pangit yung logo ko, I can just change it later, you know? So it's okay, you can outsource that. But there are certain things that you have to realize, and I'm, say- I'm not saying you shouldn't outsource or you shouldn't, you know, get someone else to do it, but you do have to realize that there are some things that risk is inherently bigger. Like, for example, in our case, what we've seen with a lot of our users was that they didn't really, um, like, at the end of the day, it wasn't really cost that was a problem to them. In fact, for a lot of them, um, time wasn't that big of an issue, actually, you know. Um, What a lot of them wanted was control. And um, I wouldn't say that there's good or bad in terms of that. They just realized that you know this is something particularly taxation um is something that is inherently risky that if not done well at the end of the day they're the ones who are going to be accountable you know it's not going to be the accountant who's accountable if may nakalimutan kang file hindi it's going to be you who will who the bar will go after no so you have to you also have to understand questions about that uh, oh by the way i'm i'm in my daughter's room which explains the nice wallpaper and my daughter just came in so uh but she's very nice yeah bye thank you <laughs> so thanks for that um thanks for bearing with me so um so no, that is one thing that you also have to realize you know and um actually now is a very interesting time for a lot of us because it's a very unique time you know, there there are a lot of pivots that you're seeing people do. Like before, there were some. I think a lot of uh, small retailers um, are making uh, are 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 making a lot of a lot more business, making a lot more money now because they're able to push their products and services directly in a lot of these Viber groups that we're that we're part of. Before, kasi you know, you just go to the grocery, you check out the brands. They're the usual brands, but now these people are able to. Uh, present their their brands and you know their available services as well to people who wouldn't have otherwise even considered paying for something online. So you know you have to realize that there is opportunity in all of this, and it's very interesting because this opportunity will only last until ECQ lasts. No, so basically, um, uh, once that is over, once that run is over, the situation. It's probably going to be a new normal, but it will adjust again, okay? So, but there's a lot of opportunity right now. So something that you also have to realize is that it's not only your time 
that is valuable, no? But also time period, right now. Is right now something that I should be, you know, focusing on getting opportunities and, you know, building my business, building my brand, building relationships? Um, because now is the time to do that. Because it's a very unique time and a lot of people appreciate um, the extra effort whenever someone puts it in. Okay, so um, so that's 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 just one thing that I wanted to add, no, with 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 uh, with uh, in relation to what we were discussing. But now maybe I can talk to you more about you know essentially um, how you can consider a DIY tool uh, for at least one part of your business, which is taxation. So as you know. Um, taxes is something that is not fun to do. <laughs> we experience this ourselves, and it, it takes a lot of time not to do it. And um, uh, needless to say, it's a very complicated process, and there are a lot of changes right now. The deadlines keep moving. A lot of Filipinos are overwhelmed. Um, and our mission in Taxumo is really to help self-employed individuals and MSMEs become successful because we believe that these successful businesses is the key to UNDP sustainability goal number eight, which is decent work and economic growth, okay? Our other mission is to create or to push for innovation in the government. And we believe that innovation and technology is a way of removing a lot of the red tape, a lot of the corruption that right now seems to be inherent in a lot of you know, our, our transactions with the government. Now, technology is a way to keep everything transparent. Technology is a way to get everyone on the same leveling field. Ano? Same, same field, basically. Walang lamang, walang palakasan, walang anything because it's technology. All right? Now, Taksumo is basically designed for freelancers, sole proprietors, and uh, we are registered professionals. No? So basically, small businesses are the people that we really want to help with this initiative. And how Taksumo works is, number one, it works on any browser or on any device. Um, and you basically just enter your income and your expenses. So it's very quick. So this is how you just enter your income. You can see that it's basically just the amounts, the tins, etc. Um, ganun din for expenses. And then in real time, your tax dues are calculated. So one of the problems we encountered before with our accountant, um, before Taksumo, no, we, have, we have a different small business. One of the challenges we encountered is that, you know, we would be able to get in touch with our accountant maybe a day or a couple of days before the deadline, and um, you know, our accountant will say, "Okay, you owe twenty thousand pesos." Wala na kaming pera na ikot na naman. We spent it on something else. So it's a form of bill shock. So taksumo kasi every time you enter an income, every time you enter an expense in real time, your tax dues are calculated. So you're never surprised, no? Um, sec, uh, uh, taksumo also we automatically generate the tax forms already for you. So the most complicated thing that you have to do is basically assigning categories to your receipts. Understanding whether this, this receipt in the restaurant, is this a meal or is this office supplies? <laughs> that's, that's essentially the hardest decision you're going to make. No? So you just choose that. Um, and then we will automatically get all of that data, put them in all of the forms, and you can submit those along with the attachments to the BIR through Taksumo. So you no longer have to print anything out. You no longer have to bring anything to the bank or to the RDO. Speaking of uh, speaking of that, no, you also can pay online through different channels. So aside from bank channels, which are also available here, you can pay via PayPal, you can pay via credit card, you can pay via Grab Pay, whichever is most convenient for you. You can even pay via Bayad Center if that's the closest to you, M. Luillier, Cebuana Luillier, department stores, whatever channel is easiest for you. And once you've paid, that's it. You're done because we can automatically remit your payment to the BIR. Now, we do realize that there are people who may not yet be that familiar with how all of this works and they want a CPA who can help them with that. Um, so <clears throat> one of the things that we're doing is we're, we're creating Taksumo such that technology um, is also, it starts to provide more value-added services. It's not just a tool. No? For example, Taksumo right now, it can actually recommend ways to save on your taxes based on your past data. So we use machine learning and Taksumo will recommend changes to your tax settings, tax options, how you enter taxes so that you basically are able to optimize your taxes. Um, also, we have an, a, 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 a functionality here called the delegate functionality because we do have users who have accountants, but they want to make sure that their accountants are essentially doing the work correctly. 
and um, completely for them. So they delegate their access to the accountants. And because the accountants are using Taxumo to file for the taxes of their customers, the customers can immediately see all of the filings that have been done for them, for their business. So there's a lot of transparency provided if accountants are delegates no, of the users as well in Taxumo. If you want an accountant, we do have accountants that are vetted Taxumo partners as well. You know, we, we, we've seen how they work. We can vouch for them. And um, they're people that we can heartily recommend to you. My boss, actually, we're creating a partnership right now with my boss. And this is something that we're going to work with them as well on. No, with. I'm sorry, with. And um, of course, Taxumo and taxation, we realize that as business owners, we probably don't really keep regular hours. Um, and a lot of it is because, you know, maybe in the morning you have to help your daughter because she has homework because her school gave up and everything is now remote. So you have to help your daughter with her homework. So what happens now is that in the afternoon, ka lang work or in the evening. So what we did was uh, we actually have customer service representatives. We call them our customer advocates that are on call. They're there ready to answer your questions from 9 a.m. to 12 midnight every day. Okay, and also aside from that, we have weekly free online onboarding calls as well. Um, so the other services that we provide in Taxumo, we also help you with your registration. So if you're a professional, sole pro, partnership or corporation, whatever, you want to get registered, we'll do that. Needless to say, this service is currently on hold because of the ECQ. Uh, the government offices were actually the first ones to, 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 uh, to close shop no? when, we started, uh, when we started the ECQ. So we found out early on that um, we can't really provide the service yet. Um, and of course, there are other automated ways. So this registration is actually something that we're also automating right now. Um, aside from that, government contributions can also be paid through Taxumo. So you can pay your SSS. Uh, you can generate your PRNs, your payment record numbers as well there, and you can pay your pag-ibig as well through Taxumo. PhilHealth is something that we're working on right now. Um, things have slowed down because of ECQ, but hopefully this is something we can get out um, ASAP. Now, these are the normal, normal prices of Taxumo. Um, it depends on like the level of business that you're at. You can get an 8% plan. So basically, if you're a sole proprietor and you opted for the 8% flat income tax rate, it's, it's 888 per month. If you're a micro business, you have withheld taxes you, and, or percentage tax, um, the cost is 1888 per month. And then for small and medium business, this is for VAT users or for VAT taxpayers, um, it's 2888 per month. Now, having said that, I think, uh, this is something I mentioned a while ago, that March was a very good month for us in terms of signups, but we do recognize that uh, professionals and entrepreneurs right now, is it's not really a lucrative time for all of us, you know, for all people. So what we're doing is that we are actually giving up to an 80% discount on all of our plans, on all of our monthly plans. And um, um, all you have to do is uh, send an email to customercare at taxumo.com. Send us your story of how COVID-19 affected you, and um, we can give you a discount code that uh, can drive down the costs further for you. So just to give you an idea, basically the 2888 per month can become as low as 500 pesos. So it really depends on um, on the story. Uh, now, as much as we want to, uh, sorry, as much as we want to, this is this is something that we can only offer to the first 100 people. And this promo, or, or not promo, but this program that we created has been going on for the past, um, uh, since last week, actually. You know? So we're very close to hitting 100 people who availed of this. Um, so, uh, but what I can um, do for, uh, for the viewers of OLEARN and of Union Bank, and Global Linker, um, what I can do is that as long as you mention that you found out about this on this webinar, on this uh, learning session from OLEARN and from Global Linker, as long as you learned it from here, I will uh, open additional slots for you. All right. Um, and uh, aside from that, Taxumo was the first startup to be part of the Board of Investments Investment Priority Plan. So if you're, if you're at all worried about, is this legit? I mean, everything online, really? Yes, we are, because the Board of Investments actually basically invested in Taxumo. Um, we are also accredited by the BIR already. So we are a tax service provider of the BIR. Um, and um, we've actually already collected 20 million plus in terms of from uh, in taxes, no, 
from a market that the government considers considers a hard to tax market. Um, so we help them collect, no, and we help them with their goals uh, for basically the goals of this government. Okay, now, but wait, there's more. Okay, since uh, you know we're so happy that um, Global Linker and Olearn uh, invited us to be part of this, uh, we're actually gonna give away um, fifteen thousand pesos worth of ER coverage. Okay, um, and how do you avail of that, no? Uh, so first of all, what is the coverage of this? No? This covers basically the ER treatment, doctor services for the emergency treatment, emergency room fees, medicine, x-ray labs. You also get a 20% discount on selected Metro Dental services, 50% discount on My Health services, and of course, insurance, etc. No, And of course, free consultation as well with MaxiCare through their teleconsult hot hotline. Um, so how do you get this? Just go to our Taksumo community on Facebook, search for that, and request to be a member. And what we'll do is that uh, the nth request wins the prize. So we'll see it chronologically. Uh, I would say that the 14th person to request will get the prize. Okay? So that's it. So we're just waiting for people to, uh, to sign up, and we'll get in touch with you. We'll call you up um, to get the details so that we can get your MaxiCare e-ready card ready. And that's it. That's it for me. That's uh, that's me. Thank you for allowing me to talk. Um, this is EJ. Thank you. Okay, yun. May promo pa si EJ. Okay, yun. Nakulong nga rin. Parang naman, di ba? Oo. Galing, galing. Learning computer only. Yeah, oo. I like the fact that uh, hindi lang pala about tax filing yung ginagawa ng tax sumo. Diba you mentioned kanina that uh, uh, as you're doing it yourself, you added tools like analytics, diba? It can suggest uh, some alternative courses for the SME, no? Para mapababa nila o mapaganda yung kanilang business uh, strategies. Exactly. We now have around 20,000 signups on the system using the platform. So there's a lot of data that allows us to really Okay, how do people optimize their taxes? And those are the same tips that we give to other people. Right, right. So, um, hindi lang siya basta do it yourself para lang ayusin kung isang part of your business which is taxation. Nagiging parang advisory system na rin siya pala, no? There is that functionality, yes, oo. And aside from that, of course, if you have like outsourced services, you can have them use Taxumo for you. Just so just so you're sure enough in a file. You can see all of the filings there, all of the receipts there, everything's gonna be there for you. Actually, sakto kasi may isang question dito si e Eric Kalugdan. He's asking, how do we transition from current accountant to Taksumo? Can it be done anytime or we need to wait for a certain BIR deadline or cutoff? Oh, um, you can actually do it anytime. Um, when you when you file in Taksumo, um, you can actually uh, either enter your income and expenses one by one or you can go to the form itself and file directly. And then it'll walk you through the data that it needs so that you can file. Uh, but it's very easy. We do recommend that you have the forms for the previous filings done this year, okay? Because there will be some questions that will be asked regarding, you know, um, those past forms. Thank you. Yeah. So, yes, so Eric. So, um maganda yung narinig natin kay Sir EJ, no? Na pag nag-outsource pala, kasi many SMEs are afraid in terms of outsourcing because of the cost. So when he flashed their, uh, actually, yung service fee, very, ano pala, very uh, affordable for the SMEs to, to pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and we really want to help and we really want this to be a tool that people can use, especially at this time na dapat wag ka lumabas. So, wag ka lang lumabas, umurahan namin. So, that's really the intention. But is there, ano, is there a lockout period for that kind of rate? No, um, it's really monthly. So, you can end the contract anytime. Hopefully, you don't. But you can end it anytime, you know. So, when they come in, they come out, can they come back again? Um, yeah, we don't, we don't, uh, like, limit that. You know, we don't we don't tell people na ah hindi umalis ka na hindi ka na namin gusto wala namang ganun uh, but of course the discounts that we're giving right now of course when you cancel your subscription the discount won't apply anymore the normal rates now will apply oh. i guess that's the only caveat you have to think about yeah yes that's fair yes mm -hmm. thank you 
Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's also bring in uh, si Judy. Um, yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Yun, um, any questions for Eric and uh, JP sa, sa kanila aside from what uh, yun, na, na pag usapan so, na natin? So, hope I should the... Oh, sige, so JP, go muna. Ah, no, sorry, Eric, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, in, in terms of back-end office, uh, ano yung pinaka poor or special team ninyo? Anong department ng uh, mm -hmm. business? Mm -hmm. Is it... Well, mm -hmm. sige, go, go, mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah. It's more of the financial management, no? the, from the bookkeeping to the and the record management system. So we also have a portal. Na there you can see your documents and everything. You can search it. Kesa in nga tawag ng tawag pa sa CPAs and hindi makita. So that's the important part that we see. No? That we cater to SMEs. Kasi these files are very important. Pero yo, once you lose it, uh, na. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you do also ano, uh, digital archiving of documents for your clients? Yes. Yes, that's the digital uh, record management system. And right. um, we're partnering with CPA partners. And yeah, our recent partnership with Taksum also, we do their back end for them. Yung concerns ni like, hindi rin sila makascale or they cannot give their um, proper service because sila lahat din na gumagawa. So, we want to take that um, hard and dirty works from the CPA so they can give the value of their service to our SMEs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. Ako actually, question ko kay Judy, anong pinaka- uh, pinakamadalas ipa-outsource sa inyo ng mga SMEs? Kasi marami yan, di ba? May HR, may accounting, bookkeeping, etc. Mm. Anong pinakamadalas? Still the accounting. But before you can come up with that financial statements, you have to do the bookkeeping properly. So doon nagkakaroon ng concerns eh. Pag hindi proper, kaya pagdating sa taxes minsan, pag kailangan ng ip E file, no, but if you don't have the proper documents in place, uh, messed up na yung numbers. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. And, and in terms of cost, kasi natanong ka rin yun, eh, di ba? Uh, Napag-usapan din kayo na sometimes cost could also play a big, big role. So, if, if you match it between outsourcing versus hiring your own, ano magiging benefit for an SME sa ganong klase? Mm -hmm. well, for on the us, bookkeeping side, on the bookkeeping accounting side. Uh, our rate kasi is, ano, eh, it's like actually cheaper pa from hiring one account staff and an admin staff. So yung, yung rate namin, no, andun na lahat. Meron ka ng, yung documents mo are done with by CPA. We have the technology also, the digital uh, record management system. And then even, yeah, filing of the taxes and the government compliance, it's part of that already. So uh, then hiring one person na uh, isa lang minsan yung skill niya, and yun nga, hindi naman properly nagagawa. So mas, well, for us, no, it's mas reasonable lang yung price and mas cheaper. Okay. okay. Um, uh, we have, yeah, we have some questions dito. Uh, Si Kathleen, tinatanong niya, when is the best time daw to transition from sole prop to one-person corporation? If going to OPC, what are the advantages in terms of taxation? Mm, siguro. Uh, sige, I, I can help answer that. Mm. Um, the best time to transition, um, I don't really think there is a best time to transition. Um, at the end of the day, kasi there are advantages with going... Um, corporate no uh, and one of the big things about going or about creating a corporation is that you create <coughs> something called a corporate the corporate deal what that means is that a lot of the liability for example let's say uh your corporation umutang from a bank and then hindi niya mabayaran the bank will not be able to go after your personal assets no it, it will only go after the assets of the corporation because it's a separate entity so there is that that you have to uh, that's an advantage of going corporate but the challenge with going corporate is that there is a lot of documentation 
and compliance that you need to uh, now comply with. So even though yes, you're protected, but but then but after but you know you're protected, but regularly you have to give a lot of reports to the government, and you have to sort of balance that and realize that um, um, you know th that that may be what's gonna kill your business later on because of all of the compliance requirements, and you don't want that. So there is that that you want to balance. No, um, uh, I think really at the end of the day, it's really that that will that will allow you to decide because uh from a tax point of view the, i think the only advantage of going with sole prop is that there are programs that are designed for individuals kasi. like for example the flat income tax rate the eight percent income tax rate only individuals can for earning three million and less can um uh, can avail of that option so there's a lot of requirements that they don't need to file. Wala na yung percentage tax and other tax types. Uh, it's really they just have to file income tax. So it's ad it's advantageous for a lot of them uh, uh, because of that. Now, the corporation naman, on the corporation side, the, the tax advantage of that is that um, if there's this option kasi, sorry, uh, this might become very esoteric na in terms of taxes, but uh, there's an op uh, there is a, a, a deduction method that you have to use when you're filing your taxes. And that is basically you declare how much yung expenses mo. Yung familiar tayo with is called the itemized deduction method. And basically you um, list down all of your expenses and they are deducted from your income. Yung neto, yun yung taxable. Yeah? Uh, but there is something called the optional standard deduction. And uh, the, uh, the difference of this is that you automatically declare forty percent of your income as expenses. Okay, so ganun siya. But the good thing about it is you don't have to declare any receipts. Uh, there's a lot of requirements that you also don't need to file anymore. Uh, and also, uh, why it becomes better from a taxation point of view is because for a corporation, you can still deduct your cost of sales even though you're gonna do optional standard deduction okay so <laughs> sorry parang ang dami na biglang terms but but yeah there are advantages to each but i think more than the tax advantage because tax at the end of the day is a pricing thing you can actually you know uh, uh cover that with your pricing but i think what's more important is the time it would take you and the compliance that you need to comply with i think those are bigger considerations for me personally yeah thank you ej i think uh, my question then kanina si eric about um the optional standard deduction now so in that case uh, that's also available in taxumo tama ba yes oh, oh. Uh, you that is available you can choose that and you and you're right you don't need to input expenses anymore because taxumo will basically not use it for the forms that you're filing if you're choosing osd uh, but the thing is um if you do still want to enter your expenses it might still be advantageous for you because of the machine learning component of taxumo Taksumo might might realize for you that hey, you know what? You're saying OSD, but actually itemized will be cheaper for you. So there is that that Taksumo does as well. That basically it gets better with more data you put in kasi. Okay. Got it. Um Simar is asking if you can help other uh, uh, in terms of BIR documentation renewal services now. Do you charge separately? Um example for financial statements. Uh, I uh, sorry, so, uh, I be, we partner with entities actually like my boss for this. Uh, so there are services that we still would want, uh, you know, uh, people to handle, and we partner with entities like my boss to make sure those are delivered. Okay, and then um, there's also a question from. Luigi, in what scenarios now is it better to hire a freelancer to do a task versus looking for an agency who can provide the said service? I think na mentioned mo to um, kanina, but maybe you can ano, answer it again, uh, Judy. Uh, well, uh, yun, if depend to sa reliability naman of the freelancer that you're getting and an agency no so it depends on the project mm -hmm. so if it's something very critical then I, it's better that uh it's a corporation or you know big than a freelancer mm -hmm. 
or at least registered yung freelancers in the business. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Mar is also asking, what's the best option now for a business like mine right now, sole proprietor with seven branches and growing, but planning to close some branches due to crisis and convert to uh, Barangay Micro Business Enterprise or Bambi? Anyone who wants to take a shot at this? Siguro, my question would be option in terms of what? Best option on how to close? Or is it best option on how to keep the seven branches? Um, I think right now the challenge is that we can't, you can't really close any, <laughs> any, any branch because the government is closed. So <laughs> that's the challenge that we all have right now. Uh, but I think what you want to make sure is that even though your businesses are not operating, you want to make sure that you're still complying. Uh, from a taxes point of view, it means that you're filing zero at the very mm -hmm. least. You know? So mm -hmm. make sure that you don't miss that. Okay. Uh, in, in terms of reducing paying taxes now, yeah, clarify ni Mark. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, in terms of reducing paying taxes, I think the best way would probably be, because um, at end of the day, uh, if you're sole prop with seven branches, usually your taxes are consolidated under the main branch. So just because you have branches doesn't mean it's lower taxes. Okay. At the end of the day, it's really, you know, um, local government requirements that require you to have registration in certain branches. Therefore, kailangan may sarili kang branch doon. So I think the number of branches is, at the end of the day, kasi the more branches you have, the more difficult it is to maintain. So if you had that choice, mm -hmm. you would not want branches, di ba? But there are requirements that you have to comply with, and that's really what's pushing, you know, you to have those branches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thank you, uh, EJ. We also have a question uh, about e-commerce startup. Yeah, may dumaan no motor. <laughs> uh, e-commerce startup daw, what is the taxation process? Is that different ba for e-commerce or the same for brick and mortar lang? Oh, it's the same. It's the exact same. We actually have a lot of users who are Lazada micro tellers. Um, so it's the exact same, you know, process. Um, some of them actually uh, there are a lot of businesses, for example, dropshipping businesses that they categorize themselves under, under online e-commerce, but really they don't really have inventory. So, you know, they're not really good. So at the end of the day, well, you know, they realize they're professionals pala offering a service, marketing service, essentially. So, um, so but yeah, short answer, yes, it's the same. <laughs> okay. Yeah, do you have other questions, JP and uh, Sir Eric? Uh, so Eric, yeah. we cannot hear you. So Eric, walang walang audio. Sorry, nakabiyot ako. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some micro, some micro and small. Uh, minsan they get to, kumbaga, uh, fail to comply, no? Can you, but do you get to accept and fix those? non-compliant who wants to comply do you accept them as clients yes ah. well for us yes <laughs> and that's that's our the mission of the the company no to because it's part of the growth of the business then eh? even if you're getting revenue but if you're messing up with your taxes and your government compliance it, it will back also get back to you later on so sayang yung penalties and everything so what we want to provide is the real numbers no for these um smes then well you know um kumbaga yung transparency na lang to bir it's kumbaga it's still up to the business owner but what we want to provide is the real numbers and to show you ito talaga yung cash position mo and even for the government compliances, no, yung mga dati na mga open cases, we want to fix that for you. So we, we really do the dirty works for you. Mm -hmm. And then we, yun nga, we uh, bridge it to the technology, no, to the portal. So everything there, you can see it. And if you want to review it again, get back on that to including your strategic planning or everything. So at least andun lahat. Mm -hmm. 
it will not waste your time anymore to find the documents, to look okay. kung ano ba ako mm-hmm. dati, last year, and everything. So that's the goal for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For, for Taksumo naman, you can also file fast forms. Um, in Taksumo, will auto compute all of your penalties for you. So if you ha- if you are allergic to talking to uh, government personnel, <laughs> we all think uh, that Taksumo will auto compute the penalty for you. So you can pay and remit everything na lang through the platform. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. Pwede daw ba yung auto ng penalties? Eh, bumababa ba ng konti? Auto reduction? Asa, hindi, hindi, hindi. Pero, <laughs> alam nyo, from, from experience, no? Um, I think, at the end of the day, most, I wouldn't say all, but most like officers of the day sa RDO, they're people too. But like, if you explain your case, kasi normally right now, if you if you forget to file a zero, ha, zero na tax form, 1,000 pesos agad yun. Uh, however, we have people who are able to haggle na ibaba yun. And nabababa nila to up to 200 pesos. So I think as long as you explain your case well, and you know, the person... I guess is in a good mood, then you'll be able to get a favorable rate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I have a question to EJ and Judy. So, I'm pretty sure that uh, after all these scenarios, after all these COVID nineteen scenarios, no, maybe maybe I don't know, maybe September, October, November, probably there would be some changes in the tax uh, computations or tax policies to accommodate SMEs. For sure, the government mm. will do something about. Like um, how fast can your systems be able to adjust pag bigla nagkaroon ng ganong klaseng changes? Mm. Um, for us, it's instant. Uh, we usually get the announcements uh, uh, like a few weeks before. So we already are doing the necessary um, changes so that when it's announced, automatic bago na lahat ng forms, bago na yung, bago na yung computations and everything. Yeah. Same with us then naman. Because yeah, we have naman uh yeah, C- or CPA partners and also our technology na yun automated din naman, real time din naman yung mga nakukuha namin uh, regulations na from BIR. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um I think yan, overtime na tayo. <laughs> right. But that All was a right. uh, good discussion. I think madaming mga tanong uh, about taxes, about outsourcing. And I think for those who are watching, you've got, uh, kumbaga yan, naka, nakuha na, nakakuha tayo ng maraming insights on uh, ano nga ba, paano, paano tayo mag-outsource ng ating mga operations like taxes and even accounting. So, take into consideration yung mga points na shinare nila ni na EJ and Judy. And uh, yeah, uh, at the end of the day, na-mention nga ni EJ, it's risk, cost, di ba? We need to consider those things. And if you want to expand your business, tapos uh, kailangan mo ng tulong, uh, isa din sa na-mention na advantage ni Judy, you can um, outsource and have a, kumbaga, mabilis na reaction time versus ha- hiring people. And then you can also test the waters, di ba? When you're outsourcing, see kung sakali magiging sustainable ba yung growth natin. Especially ngayon na ECQ, yeah, maybe your your business is flying, pero will it be sustainable? Uh, will it still dis- stay the same after the ECQ? Di natin alam. So, um, with that, maganda outsource and then test the waters and then pag nakita mo, probably na, oh, okay na to, diretso na to, then another consideration maybe to hire your own internal team. So, yeah, thank you so much, EJ and Judy. Siguro, uh, last few words sa inyo. Um, well, it's uh, part of the situation. Yan. We're, ha- we're all in experiencing the difficult situation. Um, I hope uh, my boss can be of help, no? support of yeah, fixing your uh, finance record so that pag kinumpit na natin dun sa <laughs> taksumo, ano na, wala na, hindi na, wala naman <laughs> penalty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And, yeah, and Siguro for me, I know take take this opportunity right now. You know this this weird time right now. Take this as an opportunity to to rethink your business. 
Um, will it make sense? Um, how can I make my business more resilient to something like this in the future? And if this is the new normal, how can I sustain a business in this type of uh, environment? So I think, you know, really take the time to do that. And as I said at the start, it's great that you're, you know, you're learning from, from platforms like OLEARN and from opportunities provided by Global Linker. Because I think at the end of the day, really, you know, you can't think of a solution unless you open up open yourself up to the new opportunities, the new learnings, and the new ways of doing things. And a good way of doing that is by exposing yourselves no, in, in these, in these uh, uh, platforms like this. Yeah, and thank you, EJ and Judy. Uh, Judy, for those people who want to get in touch with my boss, saan sila pwedeng pumunta? And also, EJ. Uh, yeah, well, for me, uh, you can email me at judy at myboss.asia or yeah, I can look at me in Facebook, Judy Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey. ako naman, um, just visit our website, uh, www.taksumo.com. We're also on Facebook. Um, if you want to send me an email, my email is ej at taksumo.com, but I'm very slow in answering email. You probably would have better luck um, <laughs> answering customer care at taksumo.com. All right, so those are all the ways you can reach us. Yeah, and so thank you so much, Judy and EJ. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, yeah, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for your yes, thanks, EJ. Yeah, yeah. all right. Another Kami extended webinar. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, so Eric, Eric, sorry, Eric, yes. Sa Totoo. <laughs> Alam mo, pag pinag-uusapan niyang tax, accounting, yan, uh, marami talagang tanong dyan because uh, pag hindi ka talaga familiar, especially if you're not an accountant, medyo masakit sa ulo. Oo, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Actually, isang maganda rin ina-outsource, madalas is uh, HR services, di ba? Kasi why will you even bother paying for HR yeah, services na internal? Hindi naman madalas, di ba? Things like mm, that. Mm, Relate mm. ako din sa topic natin kasi <laughs> I'm both outsourcing and on the other side of the coin, ako yung outsource HR sa isang oh. company. So pretty yes, much yes. As, as the one outsourcing and the one doing the outsource services, Nandun ako on the both sides of the point. <laughs> right, yeah. Actually, ako, I, admire, I admire those outsourced companies because they close that, uh, yung tinatawag nilang knowledge gap, that technology mm. gap, sinasabi. Mm. Sometimes we don't have the right people. Honestly, we don't have always the right uh, person for the right uh, tech, techy, techy style job. Mm -hmm. Outsource it na lang to someone who can really prove to be better, di ba? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Kasi minsan, if you build the capability in-house, mas, ma mas matagal at mas magastos. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The, the beauty All right. is, if your, if your relationship blossoms, para ka na rin nagiging internal. You know, mm. In one mm. company, I'm almost four years by July. Mm. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Grabe. Okay, right. sige. So, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, Ulit sa ating mga viewers, di ba, JP and uh, Sir Eric, for always watching and uh, tuning in dito sa Union Bank Global Linker. So, yes. see you in the next uh, episode ng, ano, ng Union Bank Global Linker. We'll provide the uh, update sa uh, Union Bank uh, Global Linker na page and also sa O-Learn uh, para for another learning session for all of you. Yes. Sa mga nanonood, uh, if you can, please please uh, register in Global Linker because we're running a survey also done. We want to be closer to you in terms of the content that we are providing. So we want to be more relevant in terms of the content. Please let us know ano yung tamang content para sa inyo. Kung baga parang uh, may isa kami member, ang sabi niya is, uh, pwede ba turuan nyo na kami kung paano talaga? Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5. Kung ganun ang gusto nyo, ganun ang bibigyan namin sa inyo content. So please register and let us know how to reach you better. Okay, so yan, maraming maraming salamat ulit sa inyo. And yan, do register sa Union Bank Global Linker. You'll find a lot of tools that can help you. Especially yan, kung SME ka, maraming mga tools doon. It's all... Uh, Marami doon free, di ba? That you can use uh, for your business. So, register sa Union Bank Global Linker. 
Ayan, maraming maraming salamat ulit sa inyo and see you next week for another episode ng Union Bank Global Linker. Bye everyone! Thank you! Thank you everyone! The big piece.